Good morning, everyone. It is right around sunrise. And there's just a very soft, gentle breeze right now. And I always notice that right at sunrise, there's this little breeze that goes through. I think as the air overhead is starting to warm a little bit. And it's probably the sort of thing that most people don't notice. But I think as a photographer, you pay a little more attention to that. See the leaves rustle in a little bit. But then it'll probably calm down. Blue skies overhead. And today is supposed to be much like yesterday, maybe a hair warmer. Uh, but I think the wind will be calm for the most part. And feeling pretty good about yesterday and the subjects that I found. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what I can find today. I'm uh, going through some washes I've been through many times before just to get a feeling for the status of fall color. Now one thing that's been strangely absent on this trip is the first day funk that usually affects me on the first day or two. But there's been no trace of it. And I'm not sure why, because thus far this trip really isn't any different from any of my other trips here. Um, but uh, definitely a curiosity. But there's some wonderful maples here. Good mixture of fall color. I'm going to revisit some scenes, check on them, and uh, see if I can come up for a plan of what to photograph today. But absolutely beautiful morning here in Zion. I've got my camera set up here and ended up using my 300 millimeter lens and my subject is this large ponderosa that's draped with some maples with some really nice fall color and uh, this is a subject I first photographed I'm thinking maybe it was 2019 2018 somewhere in that range and there were some clouds that morning and so the light was a little bit flat and I like the composition, um, I like the, the subject, but just the, the light just was, it just wasn't really all that great. Um, but this morning, the fall color on the scene is beautiful. The skies overhead are clear, the wind is calm, and so I'm waiting for now is for the sunlight to shift a little bit. And eventually it's gonna hit uh, up on this big sandstone wall back behind me, but way up high, not actually where I am. Um, but that light is gonna bounce down into the canyon, which is going to cast more of a glow 
back in that scene. So I'll end up with some soft, warm light on the subject. Uh, by Crafted Composition, it's pretty much the same composition I tried last time because I was quite happy with it. And focus is a little tricky because there are these uh, maple branches that are in front of the Ponderosa. And also I wouldn't mind getting a little bit uh, behind the Ponderosa in focus as well. And so I used a little bit of uh, front tilt to ensure that the Ponderosa stays in focus all the way up because otherwise the camera's at a little bit of an angle that uh, it makes the depth of field a little bit awkward. And now I'm focusing between those maple branches and the ponderosa so that when I stop down to F45, I should get most of the important stuff in focus. The background will be a little soft, but that's just fine. But it's absolutely calm right now. Uh, the light is starting to build a little bit. But I probably have another hour or so until the light is um, pretty good. But I'm just enjoying the sound of a, a woodpecker somewhere nearby uh, going to town on some of these trees. Some crickets. And uh, it's just very calm, very relaxing. And a wonderful place to spend a little time just waiting for the light to shift. So hopefully the breeze stays calm and I have my window of light to photograph this scene. So that was 20 seconds at 45 and the wind was very calm. Of course, as I'm looking at it now, I see one of the branches moving just a little bit, uh, but I'll end up doing another exposure as well. And I'm debating whether I should use a warming filter on this. Um, the light is fairly warm, but also there's a lot of an influence from the blue sky. So. But definitely feel good about that one. But I'll I'll give it another sheet as well. Just to make sure. But it's pretty cool when you can do a 20 second long exposure of some hanging maple leaves.
It's pretty good. See if I could flip around here. So this is a little bit of a tricky one just because I'm tucked away uh, right alongside the trail here. Um, but I found this area when I got here on the first day and just something about the background wall, the soft light and the way the leaves, they're vibrant, but they disappear a little bit into the background. So it'll be interesting to see how this one works out. I, I focused on the trunks of the maples as opposed to the leaves and then stopped down to F45 and, uh, I'm honestly not quite sure what to expect. This one could just be kind of blah, or it could look pretty good. Um, one of the tricks I do when evaluating a subject is I'll look at it with one eye closed. And that way you see it in two dimensions. And this is a scene that definitely benefits from three dimensions just because it stands out from the wall. And it blends in a little bit more in two dimensions. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how it turns out. Uh, I do have one more potential subject for today, and so after enjoying the shade here a little while longer, because it's a little warm out there, I think I'll head over to that area and see if I can at least get a composition on it. But two subjects in one day, not too bad. After taking the photo that afternoon, I packed my camera and headed down canyon then found a place to relax in the shade with my back pressed against the cool sandstone. After an hour or so, I revisited a tree I've had my eye on for many years. It's located high on a windswept ridge with an unobstructed western view for warm evening light. Using my framing tool, I learned my longest lens should be adequate for this composition. But after a long day of wandering, dinner proved to be more important. I photographed the maple draped ponderosa both without and with a warming filter, and the version with the warming filter is far more natural. I like the composition of this photo, though the depth of field is too shallow, rendering the ponderosa trunk a bit soft. Some subjects just aren't very well suited for large format. I'm not sure what to think of my second photo. Sure, it's kind of busy and the leaves and trunks blend in with the background but maybe that's not a bad thing. I'll have to sit on this one for a while and see how my perception changes with time. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you around next time. You may have noticed this video has no ads and no sponsors, and I think it's nicer that way. If you enjoy this ad-free and clickbait-free content and want to help me live my dream, a voluntary contribution through PayPal or by joining my Patreon helps keep my gas tank full and my film freezer stocked. You can find more information by visiting my website at benhorn.com slash donate. I also have prints, ebooks, and my annual portfolio is available on my website. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you around next time.